How's it going guys, Linux Daily back with another video. I know it's been a little while, but I'm back. It's been a couple months. I'm gonna go over some basics on how to rice DWM. This is a new install I got going. This is a Gen 2 Linux install. And it's running the DWM window manager by Suckless Software. So we have a few different steps that we could do to get some basic rice going. Now I already have rice going. It's already kind of themed, kind of how I like it. But I'll get make a video here showing you kind of the steps how to get started doing this. First, you kind of want to install a compositor. Now I recommend Pycom, which I have over here on this window. Um, it's a compositor. It pretty much allows you to get your transparency in your terminals. If you don't, if you pkill uh, Pycom, the transparency is gonna go away. I'm gonna rerun this and just disown the process. So um, it pretty much allows you to get transparent. It does other things, but that's the main reason why I have it installed. So to install it on Gen 2, you would just do a sudo emerge. I'm gonna do a dash a here. That's ask. I'm also gonna throw the p on it for a pretend. You don't want to use the p if you're actually installing it here. And you just run pycom. It might take us a little bit, and it's going to be right here. If you didn't add the P, it'll start downloading the source, and well, actually, it'll ask you if you wanted to merge the packages. Click yes, and that's how you do it. And then in the uh, the X init RC, you just want to add a uh, pycom dash F, and then put your little uh, and sign after that. That allows Pycom to run when X starts. Now I don't run a display manager, so this is how I do it. You would have to uh, figure that out with your display manager if you're running like a light DM or anything like that. But I use uh, start X at the TTY when you log in. So that's how I get that. So now that we got our compositor installed, let's set up a little color scheme. This, uh, you can do this in X resources, but how I have it set up, I do it as a uh, per program basis. So let's go into my uh, sources directory for uh, some of my cyclist software. Like this is the ST terminal, symbol terminal, or cyclist terminal. It really doesn't matter. But that's going to be over here. And then with cyclist software, you modify the source code directly. So I'm modifying a C header file. I'm going to edit it anyway. I must have a, uh, it must have closed out without a save or something. But we are in our config.h. It might look a little iffy here, a little confusing for a config file. But changing fonts, I don't have this font actually installed right now. So I could put this back to mono space, but right now I'm going to leave it. But this is where you would change your font. These two lines here is where you would change your font for your uh, terminal. Once you got a font installed correctly, you would set that there and then it'll change your terminal font. Now if you go all the way down here, you would hit a spot right here where it has a bunch of hex values. This is your colors. Now, this could be a time-consuming process if you don't use something like a pie wall, which I don't. I just wrote all these in myself. But you can go over here and do uh, an HTML color picker. I'll go to that website here real quick. You can go browse over here and you can kind of pick like whatever color you want. Then you copy and paste the, uh, the hex value. I kind of screwed that one up. If I want this like kind of shade of blue, I would copy this uh, hex value 4B44FB and then I will put that into any one of these slots. It's kind of trial and error is how I figured it out to uh, get the colors just right. Now I could use a little bit of work on the um, actual color scheme. Some, some can look a little dark like the cursor I need to brighten that up but that's beyond the point right now. And then down here you have some other color options, but mainly what you're really worried about is right up here. Now once you got a terminal color scheme, the next thing that you got to do is theme DWM so it kind of matches. 
Now if we CD into our uh, DWM directory, wherever you got that installed, well actually, uh, when you uh, make a change to your ST terminal, you want to do a sudo make clean install. This only takes a couple seconds, but you got to recompile the uh, ST. Now we didn't make much of a change, so nothing really changed here. Now that we got that, you want to go to our DWM and change some colors in there. The only real colors that we got in DWM is uh, right up here. This blue is what I have it set. And then this kind of dark gray. I left the dark, well, it's more like a black, but I left that really relatively the same, but I didn't make this a lighter shade of blue. So let's CD into our DWM. If I can type today, it's config.h. Same thing as uh, what we did in ST. Now our colors up here, we have a little few options here. We got a font size over here. We could change our DWM font itself. I just left it at monospace, which is the default. But I did bump the size up a little bit. Now, my DW, my D menu, when you uh, run D menu, it's kind of small. Now, that's still at 7. I want to make that a 9 to match it. And then our colors for uh, all the different DWM colors are going to be right here. It's still kind of trial and error, kind of like theming the ST. Now, my use case down here are some of the layouts. I commented all of them out. Um, floating mode. I'm only using. I only use tiling mode, so I left that one the same. You could change uh, over here. It'll change that little icon up at the top. And then when you get to uh, adding some keybinds for some important programs while we're in our uh, DWM. So if you want to have like let's say Firefox open with a certain certain keybind, what we would want to do is I already have a uh, this line right here. It opens Cute Browser, which is the web browser that I use. But let's make another one. You just do a static const char, and let's do like Internet. Add those uh, square brackets and then put an equal sign, a curly bracket. Now, the particular package name on my system for Firefox would be Firefox bin, but if you're on Gentoo and you compiled it from source or you uh, just downloaded like from Pac Man on Arch Linux and you're just Firefox, then you would just put Firefox. But in my case, it's going to be Firefox bin because I downloaded the binary version of it. Alright, so you want to put null here. And you, let's uh, space this out so it's a little easier to see. So we got static const char, which is a uh, constant character. And we just named it internet. Don't forget the little star right here. We had to put a little uh, asterisk there. And then these two square brackets. And then Firefox bin null. Then we put our semicolon, and I like to make a little comment and like say this uh, Firefox. Now to get our DWM to use this in a keybind, is we would go down here, and I have a little section called a uh, custom keybinds. I made I put this little comment here. And then what you would want to do is put a little curly bracket and mod key. And then uh, let's do, let's just replace the uh, this one with the uh, Firefox one. So we're going to do xk underscore i, put a comma. We want it to spawn, so we put spawn there. Add a bunch of spaces just so it's a little neater. And then period v equals, and then we named it internet. Let's double check that with our 
variable up here yes it's internet I'm going to go ahead and comment this out just for the uh, tutorial here now let's go back here and I'm gonna comment my original one out just so it doesn't interfere with anything here let me go internet add our little space another curly bracket another curly bracket to close that off and then put a comma so it knows to go to the next line in the config file then we can put our I cannot type today you put our comments again and say a uh, keybind for Firefox so that should be good if you're pleased with the uh, key binds that you already set up then let's move on to the next step and that is writing and quitting out of the uh, DWM the, the config.h and then we'll do a sudo make clean install now it looks like I spelled that wrong so let's go back in and change that yes it looks like I have a typo here alright so right quit and we will make clean install now I'm going to uh, at this point we have to close out of our DWM session and the default keybind to do that would be mod shift Q so I'm gonna go pause the recording I will restart my DWM and let's see if that keybind actually worked alright so I just reloaded my DWM now let's press mod I to see if our keybind now worked my mod key would be alt so I'm gonna press alt I and Firefox loads right up so that means our keybind worked alright so next on the list would be setting a background now by default there won't be a background on DWM you'll just have a, a gray or a black screen so how to set a background since you don't have really any utilities on these minimal installs to do so there's a utility called fe f e h this is going to allow us to set our background so in order to do that let's find a cool background I'm gonna go boot up our Firefox you just set up a keybind for and see if we can get some cool backgrounds but let's say we want to set that uh, we want to set this as our background well we do fe bg scale and then our picture that is going to be background.jpe so since I'm running X in Rama on a few different monitors, it's going to try to stretch it out on all of them. But if you're just running like a single monitor on like 1920 by 1080, it's going to actually fit. But I like to have it set up on all four of my monitors. Now on if you did on Nitrogen, it's going to pull up a graphical user interface and you get set up that way. Now once you get out of DWM and re-log back in, your background is not going to be persistent. In order to do that, you'd want some sort of a startup script or to put it in your .x init RC. Now I just have like an auto run script that will set the background for me. It'll just run this command in the script. And that is that. Now after we get our background set, let's make a custom status bar because by default it will just say DWM up here. We do that with x set root. You'll type that down here, and there's nothing. We can do like a. Well, I guess it doesn't like that. Um, let's pull up my current status bar script. So that's going to be over here. It's just called status bar. Now, this is just pretty much a bone simple status bar. I don't even have emojis or anything. But we just have an x set root dash name. And we see it pulls these uh, when these little mini functions or whatever you want to call them. Like I've got the date, it pulls the CPU. And the CPU doesn't seem relatively right on here. If you run an H top, it's not using that much. Well, I guess it is using that much CPU. Never mind. I take that back. I was gonna say there's a lot of different ways we can pull this information. 
Now this battery status, this is a currently a desktop computer, it doesn't have a battery, but I use the same script on a lot of mine computers and I just commented that out. But this is pretty much a simple base of a uh, status bar script. I'm going to get out of here and run my auto run script. Then we can go back into our um, our status bar. So now that we're in our status bar we can pull our CPU usage with these echo commands. There's a lot of different ways you can make a uh, status bar. You can do like DWM blocks or something but I just do it this way. It's pretty quick. So it pulls these and then just has a uh, while loop. And it updates once a second. You can change the order of these however you want. And then like a mixer you would have to install some of this stuff but if it has output like you could uh, type in this command I don't know what happened there but you could uh, type in this whole command and it'll print out just the IP address you just want to change your actual interface to whatever interface you've got but little status bar isn't that hard while it's just pretty much a while loop with a bunch of it that just runs X set root now if you had a uh, like a font awesome installed you can throw your uh, instead of putting like over here where I have these little square brackets you can put like an emoji and like a picture of like a little CPU or like a memory stick for memory but I'm not monitoring memory I've got I'm not too worried about that I usually have the CPU for compiling but status bars are fairly straightforward that should be a basic DWM rice you can get these really advanced and have a whole lot of things going on but this will get you the basics all set up pretty much just remember you need PyCom and then you can get your uh, transparency in the terminals to really have that look your typical like rice stuff like that you post it on reddit but other than that I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you learned something from it have a great rest of your day.